All right, hello everybody. So, uh, as I've been talking about for a little while, I wanted to do another one of these Pokemon streams for the trading card game online. Uh, this is the online client that you can jump on and play Pokemon and, and such. Uh, it's still pretty fun. Uh, the game has changed since the last one of these I did. I tend to do these yearly after rotation to kind of talk about, well, what the new format looks like, what has changed. Because uh, I find it really intriguing how the game continues to evolve. And how it takes old concepts and makes them new. Or how it ta how it how it turns current, you know, like, reuses older concepts. So, so yeah. Um, this is, you, as you can see, one of the, the things. We have Unified Minds, which is the one of the two current sets. I don't think we count Hidden Fates. Uh, but as you can see, if I if I stick on here, on Unified Minds, uh, you can see that that's Darkrai. Uh, but that's not just Darkrai. Uh, that's Darkrai and an Umbreon. And that's one card. Uh, same here with Mewtwo and uh, Mew. That's, that's one card. So, uh, to kind of quick show that off. The previous hotness, the previous big thing that was introduced in uh, the last time I did this was GX Pokemon. So these were a, a new take on EX Pokemon that had that worked as evolutions instead of just always being basics. So if I go to an EX Pokemon, uh, EX Pokemon uh, win knocked out are worth two prizes, and they're big. And... Where's a good EX Pokemon? Shaman EX, not the good one. So, Shaman EX, not the good one, is worth two prizes on Knockout, but it has higher, supposed to have higher stats and uh, uh, abilities to make up for it. But you would have cards like this. So this is Skeptile EX. Uh, Skeptile EX would be a basic Pokemon, as it says in the upper right. But GX Pokemon... The difference between those is twofold. GX Pokemon, you would have to evolve. So, like, we take a look at Metagross GX here. Metagross GX has to evolve from Metang. So, you you, you do not ignore evolution. Uh, second, GX Pokemon have a GX attack. This is a once per game. When I say once per game, I mean you get one GX attack per game. Uh, unless one of two cards instruct you otherwise. Um, so, like, if I have Metagross GX in the same deck as Lapras... I can't use Ice Beam GX and Algorithm GX in the same game, but that but that's what we were what we had before, and we still have those. Uh, you will be seeing new GXs. Uh, Honchkrow GX, for instance, is a fairly new one. Uh, I kind of like Honchkrow GX. I, have, I should build the deck around it. I have not. Um, or some others. So there, there. We'll get to you, Dene. Uh, one of the formats I didn't touch on too much was Zorark format. Zorark was a, a kind of a format defining card. But what it has been added is a new type of GX. So this is a tag team GX. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that uh, they're cute. This is, this is real cute. It's, peak, it's a Raichu and an Alolan Raichu. Um, this is a basic Pokemon, upper left corner. Basic. You play it, you just plop it down. Great. Awesome. Uh, has some real big attacks. Um, Tandem Shock, if it came in from the bench, does 160 plus Paralyze. 160 is not enough to knock out an EX or GX, but it's close. Uh, Lightning Ride, you know. Yeah, the alternate art's very good. But yeah, so the other thing, you can't really, it might be a little hard to read. Down here in the bottom, when your tag team is knocked out, that's three prizes. So tag teams are kind of a... a it, it's the next level of Super Saiyan, alright? If you knock out two tag teams, the game's over, because six prizes are your, your... Your, you know, goal. So tag teams, and they're also basics. There's a shocking amount of rules text on this. Yes, there is. But tag teams are the biggest thing that have changed with the new game. Uh, tag teams, you know, you need, are worth three. Tag teams come down as basic Pokemon. Tag teams are very powerful. Uh, for the most part, if I look at uh, the, the tag, the, not, if 
failure of the tag team. Ah, okay, I'm gonna need to do the search by... Here we go, tag team. So yeah, we have... You know, Eevee and Snorlax. Eevee and Snorlax I don't think is actually that strong of one, sadly. I like Eevee and Snorlax a lot. But, uh, this one here, Pikachu and Zekrom, is, uh, format-defining, as is Reshiram and Charizard. Uh, those are two we will be showing off today. Um, so, that's, that's the new hotness in town. There's one other specific card I want to talk about, one other concept I want to talk about, and then we'll get into the game. So just, it'll be a couple more minutes of me going over some cards to show you what has changed in the game. The first thing I want to show you, though, is kind of like there's there's been this... In almost every standard format, there's a consistency Pokemon. They, they are... It, Shaman was the start of this uh, in kind of the modern era where Shaman would come out on your bench and act as a supporter, uh, a draw engine. Shaman gave you hyper consistency. Shaman could let you s go through about half your deck in one game. Shaman rotated. And when Shaman rotated, uh, a new uh, top of the hill came in, and that was Top of Lele GX. Top of Lele GX could search for a supporter when it came into play. So Tapu Lele GX was a great consistency piece. Um, it also had an incredible attack and 170 HP and no weakness, whereas Shaman EX uh, had like awful health and a weakness and a not too good attack. Tapu Lele GX is rotated out of the standard format. So, what? What's our what's our new friend? Who's our who's our new friend that's gonna help us draw cards? And today's new friend. Is Dedenne GX. Uh, Dedenne GX is our new Shaman, is our new Tapu Lele. Uh, Dedenne change. Dedenne change. Ah. Dedenne. Yeah. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you can discard your hand to draw six. You can only do this once per turn. So, yeah. Uh, this is our new consistency piece. A lot of decks use it as a two of three of. There's a lot of good ways to search it, which is the final part I'll be getting to before we go into games. Uh, searching has kind of changed. We aren't in the format of Ultra Ball anymore. But yes. So Dedenne is our new friend. Well, I only have the one. Uh, a lot of decks kind of want two or three, but I have not yet fixed that up. All right, so when I've done these before, one of the biggest cards that's kind of defined the game has been this thing, Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball says, discard two cards, search for any Pokemon. This is not a, a card anymore in Standard. It has, if I take a look at number of reprints, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, a billion? Like a billion. But it's not currently in Standard. Um, there's also uh, another big card that's not in Standard. Our friend Professor Sycamore is, is not in Standard. Just in time for Ultra Ball. That's the last Ultra Ball you're going to see, Nick Thamron. That card rotated. It's gone. Professor Sycamore, also gone. So what What? What are we doing? How are we drawing cards? Um, well, things have kind of changed to be more of, honestly, either type-based or we have a couple cards that are very powerful for... Were there Sycamore Ice cards forever? Yeah, Juniper was just Sycamore by a different name, or Sycamore was Juniper by a different name. But there is not an... an, an... Yes, yeah, so you can play any old version of a card. So say I want to play Crushing Hammer here. This Crushing Hammer is ancient. If you take a look at that bottom right, that is not a standard legal set. Uh, but Search right now in standard is a lot more based on either qualifiers. Like, so Cherish Ball is one of the best ones. It searches for any GX, including our friend, uh, Dedenne. And just having a card that can search for Dedenne is pretty good. Um, but a lot of the support nowadays is more based on, uh, or, sorry, there's one other that's, uh, 
more generic. Where are you at? There is one generic search in, in the format, and I do need to point that out. Because it's one I'll be playing. Uh, Pokemon Communication. This is our Ultra Ball in the current format. This is the closest thing to an Ultra Ball. Reveal a Pokemon from your hand, put it in your deck. If you do, search your Pokemon for... Search deck for a Pokemon, put it in your hand. So. But, the way things have kind of played out... Instead of having, um... Like, support for... Uh any type we have a lot of type specific support now a lot more than before like before we still had some pretty strong types support but we've kind of gone like some types have gone over the limit here so like fire is going to be one where we have incredible power we'll be showing this off here um lightning also has an incredible amount of power electromagnetic radar we'll be seeing volcaner will be seeing um, I'm a big fan of fighting. I feel like it's still a little close. It's still a little, um, behind because it needs more than just karate belt and martial arts dojo. But so what this means is that a lot of the playable types and a lot of the decks that are at the super top of things are there because there's type support for them. So like mysterious treasure, uh, has text that seems familiar, Discard a card, search for a psychic or, um, it's a dragon. Yeah, I think it's a dragon. Uh, Pokemon revealed, put it in your hand. Usually that grabs a psychic type, so. Um, so this is an Ultra Ball with minus one discard, but only for specific deck. So yeah, we're, we have a lot more specific cards. Anyway, I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and jump on in. We're going to jump on in. I've got three decks I want to show you off. Two of them are kind of variants on the most powerful decks in the room. And the third one is one I think is really funny. Uh, and then as I'm going, I'll answer any questions. I'll talk about whatever's going on. We'll, we'll, we'll have some fun with this. Anyway, we're going to start off with Charizard Reshiram 2, which is different than Charizard Reshiram 1, because Charizard Reshiram 1 uh, needs some cards I don't have. All right. So, as I mentioned, Fire was one of the types that has an incredible amount of support, and we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, I actually am going to choose to go second. This is one of the... I, usually, you want to go first in this game, because going first lets you set up way faster, but you can attack on turn one. Um, and this deck, in particular, has a reason to want to attack on turn one. Or, like, you, you, sorry, you can't attack on turn one. So, you, you have to attack on turn two. All right, so just taking a look at some of the, the type-specific support. Fire Crystal picks up three fire energy, um, whereas Heat Factory discards a fire energy to draw three cards. Huh, weird. All right, so our opponent had a mulligan once. Oh, I didn't talk about it. Uh, so there is no Professor uh, Sycamore. Cynthia is our replacement. Cynthia is our new Sycamore. So... It's shuffle six instead of discard seven. And, ah, damn it, we didn't get it. Okay, well, that's going to feel a little painful. Hopefully we can... So we have a Reshiram Charizard to start. We only have two Pokemon in this deck. There's only Reshiram Charizard and Volcanion. Cynthia is actually the exact text of Professor Oak's new theory. That was the old card that did that. All right, so they've got, starting off here, this is a Psychic deck using uh, Malamar. Malamar is very strong. Uh, we're going to be seeing off of this Inke. Um, Malamar is uh, specifically return a Psychic energy from your grave to a bench Pokemon every turn. This Jirachi is one of the most format-defining cards as well. Uh, Stellar Wish uh, is a super strong ability. While Jirachi is your active Pokemon, you can once per turn look at your top five. Pick a trainer out, put it in your hand, and go to sleep. You can see our opponent's taking a lot of these consistency actions. They're doing a lot of setup here. Uh, okay, so Jirachi wakes up. They're setting up all their NKs. They're setting up all their... Uh, they don't have an attacker yet, but we can kind of see how their deck runs. 
<laughs> ah, poop casserole. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, Jirachi goes to sleep to do that. This turns off GX and EX abilities, which doesn't do anything against us, so... Still Pokemon, the opponent is playing and drawing a bunch of cards, yes. So what we want to do here... Power Plant doesn't do anything. Shrine of Punishment doesn't do anything. We're going to go ahead and Fiery Flint. This is discard two cards, grab four fire energy. Going to go ahead and do that. Grab our four fire energy. And take a look at what's in our deck. Looks like we have a Volcanian prized. One of our great potions prized. One welder, one greens prized. Greens is one of the cards we play around... And when we draw these, I'll kind of talk more about them, how they make the deck. Um, Alright, so we want to go... So, Pokegear 3.0. Look at top 7, grab a supporter. We only have 7 in the deck. 42 cards, but we got 2 shots. We want a Welder. Alright, I'll take a Green's Exploration. This is actually quite good card, obviously. So, uh, Green's Exploration is... If you have no Pokemon with abilities, you can play this card. Which we only have 2. And it's searching for two trainers, any two, and put them in your hand. Uh, double D-Tutor. Very good. Okay, there's a Welder. Thank goodness. So we can get going on turn one here. Welder is a very important card for fire decks. One of the most powerful things you can do... Uh, so Pokemon is a game where you're trying to... You play you get to play one energy a turn. You're powering up your Pokemon. You're trying to take six prizes by six knockouts. Well... How the hell am I going to be attacking with this garbage on turn one? In comes Welder. Welder here is attached to Fire Energy from your hand to a Pokemon and draw three. So not only is it double accelerant, but it draws three on top of that. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, the Hearth here, we can discard any card. Any player can discard a card for two Fire Energy. I don't think we need that. All right, the question is if I want to just knock out this Jirachi. So the problem is Jirachi here has 70 HP. It's Fire Week. Welder's one of the strongest cards in the current format. No, like, Welder is Welder is not, like, broken strong, but it's so strong that decks that don't play Fire play Fire Energy because the acceleration is so strong, if that makes sense. Like, so maybe it is. Um, so Outrage is 30 plus 10 for each damage on this, so we can't knock out the Jirachi. I think I'm just gonna take the Hella Knockout, which is gonna suck, but Double Blaze GX uses our GX attack for the game. I think it's worth it. I don't have anything else I want to do, and our opponent isn't going to show us anything we can't kill with Reshiram and Charizard's Flare Blitz. So, Reshiram and Charizard's big attack is Flare Strike. Not, sorry, not Flare Blitz, I'm mixing two up. And it can't use Flare Strike again next turn. Okay, so they play draw a card for each opponent, Pokemon in play, sure. That's their supporter. Okay. So here's the Malamar I was talking about. Once during your turn, you can attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to a bench Pokemon. Ooh, all right. This is the card they're trying to work with, then, huh? That's dangerous. I don't like this. Ooh, okay. They probably just move that into the front. So Poltergeist... The attack on Poltergeist there is uh, reveal your opponent's hand. And we take 200... We take... Sorry, not 200. We take... Uh, uh, 50 damage for each trainer. So we take 200 there. Is that Rush Ram and Charizard a basic? Yes, it's worth three prizes on death. Same with this. The Gengar and Mimikyu is worth three prizes on death. Oh my god. Oh, I made a... I did a Fool's Errand then, discarding my Shrine then. That's the thing that's supposed to help me get this knockout. Um, let's... Let's go ahead and Green's Exploration... See if we can't get a lot of our trainers out of our hand. So we can... 
I want Lusamine for it next turn. But I don't know if I want to have Lusamine in my hand. Am my outrage just 230? Ah, okay. That was a, a fool's errand to discard that stadium without realizing what my opponent was doing. Yeah, just basic switch. It's a card I still play. All right, I want... Honestly, I might just want to pile of Great Potions. Let's go Great Potion, Mixed Herb. Great Potion, heal 50. Mixed Herb, if you play double, heal 90. Attach, Giant Hearth, discard Green's Exploration, go grab two basic energy. So now that Poltergeist can only hit for 50. So we can't use Flare Strike next turn, but this thing is 10 HP from dead. Now the GX attack on this thing is actually really cool. Uh, GX attack on House of Horror uh, is... So... Uh, one Psychic, your opponent can't play cards. And if you have two Psychic, each player draws to seven. Is Great Hearth come? Yeah, these are, these are like... So Stadiums are cards that both players are able to use. Uh, bo so, all right, Jirachi. Yeah, they're doing some stuff. Jirachi's in the main. They went ahead and picked up a Giratina. Giratina can come into play from the grave to put a damage counter on bench Pokemon. The thing with Great Earth is that both players can use it. All right, so they're going to start powering up that Giratina. Yep, that's two power on Giratina, three power on Giratina. They're asleep. All right, so... Here's our play... We can take out the Gengar and Mimikyu. How many, how many Psychic Energies are in their yard? None. Okay. What do we want to go on here about? So I can grab... If I want to take out their Gengar and Mimikyu, I can do that. I could I could go ahead and take three prizes and go to two prizes. I'm not sure if... That, I, that might be what I want to do. The other thing is that thing's really easy for us to take out. Let's go ahead and take our, our holding action here. Sorry. Um, if I just grab a Lusa Mine for next turn, it's a free knockout. I should probably just do that. So let's go... Green's Exploration. So Lusamine here is one supporter I haven't talked about. You can pick up any combination of two supporters or stadiums from your discard pile. Supporters are once per turn. The stadium I want is our our, uh, our big one. Um, I want them. I want that welder. I don't know. Now nah, let's just heal up some more. All right, so again, outrage is ten plus or thirty plus ten, so we can heal here to ten damage, and we still have enough to 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 knock out. Yeah, Pokemon is very fast paced. Hey, free welder, I'll take that. All right, so they're going to be using this uh, Giratina to get uh, get their hits in because, like, if Giratina dies, they just get the Psychic Energy back. So they're going to use, use their supporter to draw six new. Uh, Jirachi was asleep. Sleepy Jirachi. All right, they want to get rid of one of them. They don't need more Malamars. They already have two of them. I guess maybe we'll want to set up more Inkes. I guess three of them is set up is is a Giratina recharge every turn. That's probably fine. All 
Okay. So, what we get to do here... I think we get to play Lusamine. Lusamine is gonna go ahead and pick up Shrine of Punishment and Green's Exploration. Shrine of Punishment does 10 damage to GXs in between turns. Uh, I think I want some energy, though, while I'm in waiting mode. Let's go ahead and get rid of this ball. Okay. And they figured out what's going to happen there. So their, their Gengar was about to die from our stadium. Because their Gengar had 230 HP. And it was going to take its final hit. And then it would give up three prizes. From that point, they would be at six to one prize. And there's not a lot for them to do from that position. So that's sort of the idea behind Reshiram Charizard, uh, this deck. We just power up our Reshiram Charizard, maybe get a backup one, and this card just goes to town. The entire deck is about supporting it. We're playing uh, these great potions that heal from active GXs. We're playing um, mixed herbs that heal from your active for 90. The idea being 100, 270, unless they actually have something that hits weakness, they can't they shouldn't be able to knock out in one hit, right? Like, even on Reshiram Charizard, if you take a look at its numbers, it has 230 from Flare Strike, 200 from bl Double Blaze, but if it has three extra, it does an extra 100, so it does 300, but that's for six fire. So, it's a bit much. But this is one of the two defining cards in the, the game currently. There's a lot of different ways that this gets played. Uh, I'll quick take a kind of show you I've got Reshiram 1 up I don't have this deck completed because um a Turnator what is this uh the Jirachis are the main thing I don't have for this but uh so this deck it kind of plays more like our opponent where they're using Jirachi uh to to grab a lot of filtering we're using Dedene for filtering and then we have our Charizard you know uh, as our main attacker, but we have a couple other things. Nine Tails can discard two fire energies to force a switch. Um, Victini shuffles all basic energy in your discard back into your deck and does 20 times that for damage. Turtonator, if you need to deal infinite damage, Turtonator's your way to do it. Discard any amount of fire energy from your Pokemon 50 times that. Um, Heatran, when Heatran comes up, uh, moves from... <clears throat> Once per turn, when this moves from your bench to become active, you can t take any fire energy onto it. And then, of course, he Hot Burn is 50 times the number of fire energy on it. So this is a lot more of a, a versatile deck rather than a one-trick deck. So, uh, Bulldozer will be showing that one off. It is actually it is one of the, the decks I have. We'll sh one more game with Charizard Rush Ram here, and then we'll move on over to the other deck. I, ah, looks like our opponent's playing something closer to the, the Reshiram deck I just pointed out. Because that, that deck was Fire, Lightning, Steel, Psychic. And, like, that's... Or, you know, like... Okay, I won the flip. I want to go second. Again, going second is a bet this deck can take because Volcanion has a very strong go second attack. I'm going to go ahead and try it again. So let me try to get you a Volcanion in the active. Okay, so Volcanion. Volcanion has Flare Starter. Search your deck for an energy card and attach to one of your Pokemon. If you go second and it's your first turn, search for three. Does my fave Pokemon Snorlax have a tag team? With Eevee. It was one of the first ones that existed. So, yes. Oh, okay. Espeon Deoxys. All right, so that is... This attack does 30 more for each of your bench psychic Pokemon. And then cross division is 10 damage counters split however you want. Uh, or 20 if you have three extra energy on there. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So this is a, a psychic Pokemon. Like, look, it, but it has double colorless in its attack. So just using... Oh, this is a Mewtwo and Mew deck. Okay, that's strong. We're going to see Mewtwo and Mew uh, GX... Mewtwo and Mew GX have a very strong ability. They can use any attack of any GX or EX on your bench or in your discard pile. So, this Mew and Mewtwo GX has no main attack of its own, but because, even though this Charizard has an, is an evolution, they can still just replicate it. 
Anyway, three welders, huh? Okay. Um, I think we just weld on a Volcanion and hopefully hit a uh, useful thing here. Let's use the Poke here first. Okay, we want a benched Pokemon here. So our opponent is a very tag team deck. If we can get two knockouts, that's game. Of course, that's the same for us. Okay, so we want to double attach. All right, there's another Volcanion I can attach to. We don't have our... our we want to hold that energy. Pokemon have hand size limits. No, but there are cards that punish you. Uh, N was the go-to punishment card, but N is not in standard anymore. I love N. N's my favorite. N is one of my favorite design cards, but there is a card like N. Uh, and we'll, we'll show that off, specifically so that you know what the hell I'm talking about when I say N. All right, we only need two energy here, so we're only going to grab the two. Next turn, we can Green's Exploration, and I can kind of show off. But no, Pokemon does not have a hand size limit. Okay, so they've got... Grab another Welder. They can weld onto this Mew and Mewtwo. Giant Hearth, discard... Okay, so Giant Hearth says... You can discard a card for two fire energy, right? There's also Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest is a card that sees play in a lot of decks. Viridian Forest says you can discard a card for a basic energy. It's a very, very, very good card. Uh, it's just that Giant Hearth is better in fire decks because it can't backfire as much. Anyway, they're powering up the Mew and Mewtwo. I think, was that Soul Galeo? Oh boy. And they're going to discard Soul Galeo so that they can steal its attack. So again, Mew and Mewtwo can steal any attack in the grave. So now they get uh, Sol Galeo's Turbo Strike. 120. Which is just enough for a knockout. And two attachments, which lets them set up the second Mew and Mewtwo in the background. Now here's one of the things about Mew and Mewtwo. Uh, we actually do have ways of turning off Mew and Mewtwo. So let's go ahead and use some of those. I think that's what we're going to need. We, first things... Ah, the question is if I want to go for a Weld here. I don't think so. I don't think Welder does anything. But I don't care about the Lusamina in my hand, and I want the, some Fire Energy out of my deck. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to... Green's Exploration, which grab any two trainers. I want a Cherish Ball, which grabs a GX. But I also want a uh, Power Plant. Power Plant says GX and EX Pokemon have no abilities. And as you know, as we've said, the ability on Mew and Mewtwo is what allows it to have all its cool attacks. So as long as this stadium's in play, Mew and Mewtwo can't attack. Now, hope maybe they have, you know, a, an attacker. Maybe they've got something already set up. But we've got to go for what we've got here. Let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to go ahead and attach to our Reshiram. We're going to go ahead and power plant. And then we're going to attack for high heat blast. Now, Flare Starter would be very good for upgrading my um, this to give two energy welder to four. And then I can attack, right? But its attack is only 230. And this thing's HP is 270. So if we knock it a little bit with this high heat blast, it's 50. And if there's four fire energy in play on my side, it does 110. We want to just get it a little bit, just a little tickle, tiny bit, and then we can roll. So hopefully they can't answer the power plant. I would assume they're playing a lot of stadiums in their deck. They have the Viridian Forest, the Giant Hearth, because they want to replace this. This card has their number, but if you play another stadium, it's gone, right? So they want to find another stadium, or else they can't attack. All right, Bill's analysis is look at the top seven, choose two trainer cards. So that's a good way to tutor for any... Uh, it's not uh, greens. Greens is any two cards. Giant Hearth. Okay, so they got their stadium to knock it out. That's fine. So there's their Giant Hearth. Power Plant's off. Remind me of Reanimator. Yeah, Mew and Mewtwo is, is from the newest uh, current set. Yeah, Bill through time, indeed. It's from the, the one of the newest sets, uh, and it's very strong. Okay, they're retreating because that thing has damage on it. They can't afford that. Makes sense. I 
God, can I... How can I deal with this one? Because they have a pretty good setup. Oh, Andy, thank you for the sub as well. We're, we're doing some Pokemon here. Turbo Strike, just enough to take it out. They get another prize. All right. And they get to recharge this Mew and Mewtwo. All right. Um, I think what we want... We want Welder on to Dreshroom Charizard. That'll let us have three energy, draw three cards. If I'm the luckiest person in the world, I draw into two custom catchers. That doesn't seem possible. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and Fire Crystal. So Fire Crystal just pick up three. And we're going to thin our deck a little bit. kind of name is Flongo? Oh boy, I don't know. Okay, nothing to grab. Alright, so we get to go Welder. One, two. Ah, oh, only one Custom Catcher, so Custom Catcher's text. If you play two Custom Catchers at once, you can force a swap. Okay, the Volcanian's kind of necessary so that we don't die. I think we still are going to lose this one. Because they're likely just going to, to knock us out with... Uh, uh, so this can use any Pokemon's attack again. And in the grave, they've got this Charizard, which has Flare Blitz for 300. Is Gust of Wind not a card? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Gust of Wind was like... Gust of Wind might have been more powerful than things like Bill. Uh, I realize that's that's hard to say, but... Gust of Wind is generally a uh, uh, on a supporter, and there is no supporter right now that's a Gust of Wind. I didn't talk about that. You There was Lysander, and then after that there was Guzma, but Guzma doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Pot of Greed! Okay. So there's their welder. They're going to weld two onto this. Yep. Now it can use its, its big hit. But yeah, ooh, my cargo. That's actually one of my favorite things that they get to play in here. Original bill was straight up draw. Yes, it was Pot of Greed. You drew two cards. Um, which, yeah, well, okay. I, I, I realize, like, nothing's going to beat that. But Gust of Wind was incredibly powerful. All right, I think we're out of this one, but we're going to get the... Uh, we're gonna get the revenge knockout. Also, hopefully we can show off a cool move. Okay, we have our Shrine of Punishment. This is a little late, it could be useful. Again, 10 damage between rounds. Um, I want... So we don't care about our Great Potions anymore. What we do want is I want to draw into my, my reset stamp. I don't think that's gonna be enough, but it's gotta be enough. Oh, uh, we still got the bike. Uh, okay. Too little, too late. So we're going to get the knockout on the first Mewtwo, but we needed to get the second one. And we're one turn too late. So we get three cards for this. Yeah, three prizes for the knockout. And next turn, we'd be able to play Welder and make the attack on this Mewtwo Mew and win. But we're one turn too late for that. But yeah, so back in the day, supporters as they are, so these are once per turn, you can only play a supporter once per turn. Supporters were not once, were not a card. I love, yes, I love, I, I, when I play with my Switch, I play with my one foil Switch from the oldest set. It rules. Two Mewtwo, yes. Mewtwo Mew, uh, Mewtwo Mew, Mew is really good. They're gonna get the knockout because this Volcanian cannot stand up to it. Uh, but we're just one turn away. I ain't a laughing dragon. You're about, you're just in time to see Mew and Mew, Mew and Mew, Mew 3. Oh my god, is this Mew 3? Holy shit, it's Mew 3. 
everybody. Oh, this is another card they have to play in that deck. The resetting hole. Marshadow puts you in the resetting hole. Um, when you, if it's on your bench, you can discard it to discard a stadium. And as we said, they can't beat Power Plant. <laughs> so you discard the stadium. Ooh, they went for the Annihilator play. Good, good on them. Let's make Cargo's attack. 50 plus 50 for each fire you discard. Alright. Anyway, that's going to be it for Charizard Reshiram for now. Uh, but yeah, let me quick... Uh, somebody asked about Gusting of Wind and how that, that that's a thing. And for the, for the longest time, Lysander here was our Gust of Wind. This is a supporter that says... Oh no, you can't use GX attacks more than once. With with Mew and Mew. True. No, you can only use a GX attack once per game. Ever. There is, like, there's only one card that lets you get around that. There's, like, that 300 attack discarded all the energy off their Pokemon. That's why it did 300. The, it was, basically, it was, a, it was a final blast because it discarded five energy to do 300. Anyway, Lysander. Yeah, so Lysander is just Switch, and it's your supporter. So you don't get your draw, but you get Lysander. Well, Lysander rotated, and then we had Guzma. I can't. Hey, Guzma. Guzma is, you force a Switch on your opponent, but you also have a Switch. And Guzma was really great. It was the same thing. You played a lot of Guzma. A lot of games were one off of Guzma. Guzma rotated with no replacement. Whereas... Shaman and Tapu uh, Lele had a replacement in Dedene. Guzma doesn't. So, like, switch effects? Like, pulling your opponent's Pokemon off the bench is kind of hard. Uh, Countercatcher is a way to do it. Um, you can only play it if you're behind, though, which can be very awkward. Custom Catcher is the one I use. You can play two Custom Catchers, and then it's a Gust of Wind but you have to play two custom catchers. And the thing about that is, um, as you saw in that deck, Green's Exploration lets you grab two trainer cards. Well, if I want to force a switch, damn it, I can do it. Anyway, let's move on to the next deck. This one's called Pikaram. Why is it called Pikaram? Because it's based around the other pillar of the format, Pikachu and Zekrom. Pikachu and Zekrom is the other tag team that is the top of the hill. Um, fire has a lot of support, as you saw, but so do electric types. Electric types have very powerful search that only they get to use. Um, very powerful search. Uh, where are my electro powers? They have these electro power. During your turn, your electric attacks do 30 more. This is plus power, but bigger. And it allows you to... You, you know how in the, the last game, we had a couple times where it's like, ah, I'm 20 damage off the kill. I'm 10 damage off the kill. Well, what if you're not? Oh, uh, and I didn't actually show this off last time, so I'll show it off here. Um, reset stamp is the hand size restrictor. Your opponent shuffles their hand in your deck and draws a card for each of their remaining prizes. This is N, but only for your opponent. Uh, N being one of my favorite cards of all time. Again, I think N is one of the most beautifully designed cards in the game of Pokemon. Not just because N's cool and great, uh, but N. Each player shuffles his or hand in his or deck, then draws a card for each remaining prize. If you play N on turn one, you go to six, right? So, N on turn one was a pretty common move. You would play your hand out, play N, and it also meant if your opponent, like, if you had to mulligan a bunch, you know, you mulligan your, whenever you mulligan your opponent and don't play a basic, your opponent gets to draw an extra card. If you mulligan, like, three times and they have nine cards in hand, screw it, N, go to six, you know? Let's get this back on, on track. But, N isn't in standard again, anymore, so... Yeah, again, I'm going to be talking about a lot of these things going on. If you have questions, please, I will try to answer them as much as I can. 
I uh, I'm really excited to show off a, a cool Pokemon thing. I don't do this very often. I do it probably once a year. Ooh, nice coin. It's a good looking coin. So yeah, if you have any questions. All right, we won the flip. We would like to go first in this deck. Okay, so we have a Blitzel to start. But we do have an electromagnetic radar that fixes everything. And a Tapu Koko. Ooh, okay. That's really good. So Tapu Koko's effect. Once, so this is a Prism Star card. I didn't talk about these. Prism Star cards are, if are you can only include one X of them in your deck. Like so, you can only play one Tapu Koko Prism Star. And if they ever get discarded or murdered, they RFG. Was looking through the damage unknown. Uh, I think damage unknown is is banned in in certain formats because it, you can do it on turn one easily. If there's an infinite that your opponent can't stop, <gasps> the Wooper. Yes. Okay. Our opponent's Wooper. All right. So they're gonna be using Wooper. And they're gonna be using Quagsire. Quagsire is a Pokemon that is, um, you can move around water energy all you like. And then, uh, the, the evolution of Poipol, uh, Neganatal can return energy from the grave to it. So they return the energy to, to Neganatal. Anyway, we need to, we need to take our turn. Sorry. Sorry. So we're going to go ahead and use our Electromagnetic Radar, discard two, Pikachu and Zekrom, Oh no! Ooh! All right. <laughs> Ozzy's in a pickle. Whatever. That's an annoying. Uh, all right. It's in my prize. What do I want then? So my Dedenne GX is in my prize. Um, we're gonna. That's fine. Again, that's why you would normally be running like three of that in this deck. I think we just pass. I don't like that I don't have my energy attached, but I should be able to work around it. Prizes add a lot of choices to your deck building. You can't play a deck with just one. Ooh, that Mew is very good. You can't deal bench damage through this Mew. And this thing's big attack deals bench damage. So, where's the Wooper? Go, go, whooper. Okay. So, what we're going to do is... Yeah, perfect, Volkner. All right. So, Volkner is going to help us out. We're going to go ahead and... Volkner for an energy and a switch. We're gonna play Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain makes your lightning attacks cost one lightning less. So check this out. We got one attachment here. We're gonna switch, put you in the active. Pokemon Communicator. Get rid of Zorora and grab Zebstrika. So the way Zeb Striker works is that once per turn you can discard your card to draw, hand to draw four. Doesn't Volkner seem a lot worse than that green card from the last deck? But okay, so the green card was you had to have no abilities in play. And that means a lot of cards are turned off. So you have to like, so right here, if we have Zeb Striker, we can't play green. All right, let's put the helmet on. And then we're going to go ahead and Tapu Koko, Dance of the Ancients. Oh, no, I had to do... Oh, God, I'm so dumb. I had to do that before the switch. That's fine. 
we're, we're dummy. All right. That's what I get for, for, for forgetting how that card works. So Tapu Koko puts two on your bench, not just your active. So Pikachu and Zekrom could have attacked if I'd done that before I had swapped in. That's fine. I think I want to full blitz onto something else anyway. Problem is I gave them a little bit of time. Do they have any way of recovering? They don't seem to have any. Zebstrike is great. The thing with Zebstrike is that you're, you're, you know, paying for it. You have to have a stage one evolution. It's a weak Pokemon to leave on your bench. Like, it's it's not free. All right, I don't want to play that Judge. Uh, I do want to just discard this hand again. I want to find another Pokemon to charge up with this Pikachu. There we go. Here's the Pokemon we want to charge. So, we're going to Pikachu and Zekrom full blitz. The way full blitz works... 150 damage and a triple charge. So, we have our Pikachu and Zekrom going, and now we've got Raichu alone. Hey, Dedene! I knew we'd find you. Which of them is wearing the helmet? I think the Pikachu. Okay, they found a Cynthia. That'll help them fix their hand. Now they can probably... They have Quagsire and Neganatal. Ooh, Wooper again. Goodbye, Wooper. So they need to find an attacker. That's the missing piece here. Keldeo. Okay. That's an annoyance and a half. Keldeo is immune to GX attackers. So... We've got yeah, we've got normal attackers in that in this deck for that reason. Is it just all effects including damage? Okay. So what we might have to do, I think we'll have to try to kill this Mew. We'll see. Custom catcher. If you play custom catcher alone, you drop to three. Okay, so they're just going to put Keldeo in the front as, like, a a blocker. Interesting one-hit KO effects around, like Parish Song type things. Uh, yeah, there's some GX attacks that play out kind of like that, actually. All right, um, how about you use 60? Let's play Volkner. All right, so I need to see what sort of attackers we've got. The Zapdos is our main one. So we need to get to that Zapdos, I think. We'll grab a Pokemon Communicator and... And, a, and an energy. Okay. So we're going to have to swap away to Dene. Goodbye. Now let's go grab Zapdos. So Zapdos uh, is pretty pretty cool. It does 10 damage, but it's plus 70 if it became active this turn. So we're going to go ahead and use Switch to make that happen. Right, is this going to want to kill us? 110, 110, it could. That's fine. So that's 80. If we can take out this Keldeo, we should be okay. Sort of, uh, like, the th thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! is that everything has too much text. Like, everything does way too much forever. Okay, so I need to make Zapdos active again. And I need to have an Electro Power. Again, so, the way this works, Negadadal can return energy to just it. Only it. Every turn, once a turn. And Quakesire can move that energy wherever you like. Okay, Lily to draw up to six. Lily is another draw card that people play. If it's your first turn, you drop to eight. Oh my god, Magic Cover Waylord! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! Okay, so they're gonna move all three of this energy onto Keldeo. Sonic Edge will kill. So we need to find a way to deal the last 90 damage. So Zeb Stryka does 60. 
If we find one of our Electro Powers, that will do it. So let's go ahead and put Zepstrika in the main. We can switch if things are bad. Electromagnetic Radar... So I'm gonna be, yeah, let's do this. Zorora and Dedenne, cool. So now I can retreat for free. That's what Zorora does. And Dedenne. Yes, I'd like to discard my hand to draw six. Uh, there it is, Electro Power. Your electric attacks deal 30 more damage this turn. So that's what we want. Well, let's put a helmet on our Zebstrika for safety. So 60 plus 30 is 90, and that's our knockout. So thank you, Zebstrika, for getting the job done. Not only are you a great, a, a great card draw engine, but you're a attacker that works out well for us too. All right, so the next thing we probably need to do is knock out their Quagsire. Yo, hey, what up? If we can knock out their Quagsire, I think everything's gonna be fine. I know their Mew would also mean we can do some sort of instant win shenanigans. Their current problem is actually going to be, like, how do they win, right? There's another... Okay, there's another Keldeo. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> sure. I guess putting another Keldeo in the active is a way to beat me. Ooh, this is a cool card. Volcanium, you can discard a water energy to force a swap. Uh, let's go ahead and make this Pikachu and Zekrom active. That's good, because that hides our Zeb Strike up. And I want our Zeb Strike alive. Our Zeb Strike needs to be hidden. Ooh, what did they swap into? Attacks of non-fairy Pokemon cost one more. Okay, we need to replace that. And a reset stamp for me of three cards. Do people overdeck themselves? Yes, that does happen in this game. Okay, so there you've got their Keldeo. Their Keldeo only has two energy. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh my god, okay. Uh... Double custom catcher right here, right now. Okay. Let's double custom catch. Grab that Quagsire. Uh, I'm going to attach here. Retreat. And let's draw four. Sure. Judge puts each player to four cards. There's another Electro Power. Okay. Okay, that gets us to two prizes remaining. Now we need a way to... If we can knock out the Keldeo, we win. It is. Yeah, it's true. It's Sprint. Okay. So they can't attack with their Keldeo still. I think that means I swap into Zeb Strika and get the damage in while I can. Actually, no. Hold on. Let's go Volkner. Grab my custom catcher.
I'm gonna pull this whooper back out. Goodbye, Wooper. Okay, that's why I wanted to grab more of these. Because more Electro Powers means we might be able to just sidestep the Keldeo. So this this all revolves around this Keldeo. If, if, uh, we don't have a power plant, do we? If we had a power plant, we could just turn off its ability and then it's over. Maybe that's something I want to include one of in the deck, huh? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, we're just de demolishing a whooper, I know. Okay, so Keldeo can attack now. Okay, do we have another Blitzel in the deck? We do, good. Electro power, electro power. There are no EX Pokemon. The, the EX text on this is just to be backwards compatible. So I think they're going to use their GX attack here. Their GX attack does enough to knock out the Zeb Strika. So how am I gonna win this? I think I need Blitzel to attack for it. What's the difference between an EX and a GX? EX are always basic. Uh, so like, um, there is a Pokemon that's like, you know, uh, Sceptile EX. It's a basic Pokemon though. We're going to put Pikachu Zekrom up front. We're going to put, start charging up this Blitzel. And we're going to use Judge. Okay, there's the, this is it. This is what we need. We need Electro, Energy Switch and Electro Power. What's in my deck still? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I don't have, I don't have enough energy to do this. Oh, no, because I can't get rid of this uh, Wondrous Labyrinth. Okay, I need them to get rid of the Wondrous Labyrinth for me. That'll probably happen. Everything's fine. Hmm... Venusaur EX is 100% a basic, I can assure you of that. Mega Venusaur, Mega Venusaur is an evolution of Venusaur EX. That was the defining feature of EX Pokemon. Uh, however, that was the EX Pokemon of the X and Y era. There was also EX Pokemon back in the Diamond Pearl era, and those were evolutions, but that's a different type of EX. Those were, those were much, 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 like, older. Diamond Pearl ones, yeah, those are not the ones I am speaking of here. Okay, they're gonna force a swap. Sure. So I need them to get rid of the... Uh, hmm. I don't think I can force them to do it, right? Like, why would they get rid of the stadium? Right? How are we winning? Eight cards in deck? That's a way to win. Ultra sp No! No, play that Ultra Space. The stadium makes attacks cost one more. And right now our Blitzel needs two energy to attack. 
I can energy switch one of those off, like one of them over here, but there's no energy left in my deck. I've used it all. Uh, specifically, the, my last prize card is an energy. I don't know, but if we play it as though it doesn't matter and keep doing this, maybe they'll make a mistake. Also, they have seven cards left in deck. If we can just swap between these enough. Oh no, if they kill my Blitzel. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> They've identified the threat. Damn it. <laughs> All right, that's uh That is indeed game. Nah, so Keldeo's, again, Keldeo's balanced because this is literally the most powerful card. Like, you need to, you need to be able, like, there, it's counterplay to, like, Pikachu and Zekrom and, uh, uh, Reshiram and Charizard, and a lot of the decks do, we play cards to beat them. Again, that's why I'm playing my Zapdoses and my things to catch. Yeah, I do not believe I can win this one, though. I get their three prizes. All right. But yeah, I think that's something I definitely need to consider. Yeah, you, like they're they've always. That's just something I need to make a change on the deck for. We should have one power plant just for that instance. Because we have Thunder Mountain. Oh, I used to play a couple Lysander Labs. Let's swap out one of these for a power plant, just to have one. That'll be fine. But yeah, uh, so the... So like Venusaur EX. This is Venusaur EX. It's a basic Pokemon. You play it just straight from your hand. And then Mega Venusaur, you play on top of Venusaur as a Mega Evolution. It ends your turn unless you have the Spirit Link on it. Oh, and then we have Celebi and Venusaur Tag Team, which is status effect hell, decent attack. The problem is Grass doesn't have the level of support some of the other types do. Grass has a lot of good Pokemon, a lot of good Pokemon, but not a lot to back that up. Let's head back in. Carbink blocked attacks from EXs, which was very good up until GXs showed up. Okay, I think our opponent's probably playing another Mew and Mew, 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 Mew deck. Probably this is gonna be Mew, 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 Mew. I talked about Charizard and Reshiram, and I talked about, uh, uh, Pikachu and Zekrom being the strongest things. That might not be true with, with the release of Mew and Mew Mew. Mew and Mew Mew is very, very good. Ooh, I don't want to lead with the dead aim. But I do like having the dead aim. Okay, Mysterious Treasure 3.0 is a switch, fire energy, yeah. Wow, electromagnetic re magnetic radar and fire energy. Oh, are they doing everything? Oh, boy. Maybe... I'll take three mulligans? Yeah, please. There's the Mew Mew. Yep, welder. They're just gonna get rolling right out the gates. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, put a switch in the yard. Bike is looking top two, one in hand, one in grave. Decks are 60. You see, I have 44 right now. It's because I played this hand, and then there's six prizes. That's why it feels like less. Oh, shit, what attacks do you have access to now? Neganado. Soul Glare. Screw two energy, 170 to anything. Okay, so you've got a sniper. Uh, I should be... Honestly, 11 is kind of high. Uh, you don't want to be running that many lands in your deck because they're dead, dead, dead draws and you only play one a turn. Like, Volkner searches for an energy. Which makes Volkner very good. Um, I don't want to judge my opponent here. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's in the... Let's get you for the bench. I don't think I'm going to be attacking this turn. What would Volkner get me? and then I'm going to play Judge, I think. Um. Hey, Deck. What, 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 what's that? What's that all about? Pretty sure I just drew the same four cards. I'm like 99% sure I just drew the same four cards. Ah, hell, they're just gonna knock out. Okay. So they get my Pikachu and Zekrom for their GX attack, which is a pretty big hit here. Their setup's been faster than mine. It's okay though, I can still win this. With their GX attack gone, like we are like their biggest threat is gonna be like sniping and meg cargo. Hopefully not at the same time. I think we need to charge up this buddy, our Raichu and Alolan Raichu. I think that's gonna be the play. There's another Mew and Mew 2, and there's a Marshadow to get rid of stadiums. Flare Blitz GX, take the knockout. Yep. Let's go ahead and put... Blitzel up front. I don't know if you want to play to Dene now. Yeah, the real power of Mew 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 is to be able to skip what... Again, you don't have to evolve into Meg Cargo. You don't have to evolve in Sogaleo. You don't have to evolve into Charizard. You just get the attack. The downside is that you can be shut off by abilities. Uh, you have no attacks, basically. Um, God, I think we want... So I play this, I get sniped.
it's fine. Power plant, but they have their... Power plant counters that, but again, they've got more shadow, which kills stadium. So they're countering their counter to counter, counter, counter. You see how this goes. I don't want a Pokemon Communicator. Pikachu and Zekrom away. To go grab Tapu Koko. Usually that's like Wobbuffet. And there's not one of those immediately right now in the format, no. Okay, so I need to play Power Plant, Counter Catcher to draw two. Volkner would get me the switch, but I don't have the stadium. Okay. That's fine. Let's play Volkner. Retreat one. So we're going to stun this next turn. The attack from Raichu and Alolan Raichu does a, a, a stun if it came off the bench. If they have a way to force one of my Pokemon off the bench, I think they can kill me. But we'll see. Please play the Dedenne right now. Do it. Play Dedenne. Dedenne. Do it. Do Dedenne. Right now. Do it. No, that's not Dedenne. Bike poke gear, sure, that's more fixing. Come on, to Dene. You know you want to do it. Please play to Dene from your hand. They're not gonna do it. They're, 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 there's no way they're making that misstep. There's another welders. They're going to start getting set up with this. They've already played Bill's Analysis, so they can't weld this turn. They have to get rid of my stadium if they want to attack. I guess they don't have to attack my Blitzel. I'd be very happy if they did not attack the Blitzel, in fact. It would be very good for me if they did not attack Blitzel. Okay, they're gonna start setting up that Mewtwo. See, they do play Psychic. Okay, the resetting hole. Put it in the hole. There it goes, into the hole. Okay, so knock out Blitzel. Go to two prizes. I knock out... I paralyze back. A lot of Pokemon is playing like five turns ahead. Like, we know they're setting up this Mew and Mewtwo. Okay, they didn't like their hand that was like Welder plus Energy? Interesting. They must be hunting. Wow! Okay, it just occurred to me. They're playing the Electromagnetic Radar to grab Thunder or, you know, Electric GX EXs for these. Hey, how's it going? They're real cute. 
Okay, giant hearth. Discard a card for two fire. Alright. So, one thing about this format you might come to the conclusion of is that it's a format about the giantest haymakers you can make. And while that's true that there are giant haymakers to make, there are other ways to play. There are some other powerful Pokemon that are not EXs, you know, GXs or, or tag teams. Okay, Blitzel's down. We need to put out Pikachu Zekrom so that we can swap. Yep, they get two attaches. That's Solgaleo's attack. So we get the Tandem Shock, 80, 80, 80 plus 80, plus Paralysis. And Paralysis is you can't retreat, can't attack for one turn, then it wears off. Hopefully they can't do anything about that. You know, if you just have a literal switch, take your Magnemite, your Kakuna out, and your Magnemite in, that'll do it. Okay, keep setting up that one in the back. Uh-huh, I'm... I see you. Okay, F. How are we winning? Two prizes left. The one in the back can snipe. I can paralyze it. I, so I can kill the first Mew and Mewtwo, no questions. I think we want a lightning ride and then switch into something that won't die. Problem is what won't die. Zapdos. Zapdos will die, but we'll only give up one prize. So we're going to ride the lightning. Switch into Zapdos. GX tech used, we get three prizes. There's a Blitzel. Reset stamp, I wanted that a while back. That's fine though, I can play that next turn. Here comes their second Mew and Mew Mew. Here's Mew's four through six. So if they can kill Zapdos, they take one prize, go to one. If they can kill anything else, the game's over. Zapdos, you are a sacrificial lamb who is going to try and win this game. Okay, eight cards left in deck. They can do whatever the heck they want at this point. Don't play another Dedenne. Okay, there's a Welder. So again, they have a... Uh, let me grab that Meg Cargo so you're aware of its existence. Lava Flow. Discard any number of basic energy from this Pokemon. This tag does 50 more for each card discarded. Oh, tag per... That's bad. Hold on. This tag purge all... Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Okay. It only prevents damage. <laughs> all right, so let's, uh... Put you to one card. T 
Tandem Shock. Paralyzed still works. <laughs> Alright, next up. Switch. Retreat. Reset stamp my opponent to one card. Yeah! <laughs> so, big numbers might be great, and they are, but it always feels really good to, to pull off a plan that's that stupid. Thanks, Pikachu, and yeah, MVP. Raichu and Alolan Raichu, best friends forever. Alright, anyway. Ooh, we get a, a card from that. I think that's a Ultra Beast. Necrozma? Yeah, Necrozma. Necrozma is okay. Then we move on to the second line. And then there's the third line. Which. Ah, Mars is the full art this time. Mars is one we're actually gonna see. Okay. So yeah, as I've shown, you know, big, huge hits, oh my god, 230, 270 health, oh my god, it's huge, we've got a hundred and, we got a billion HPs, and how much damage can we do, 200, uh, uh, a billion damage, alright, but what if, what if we slow things down a little bit, what if, What if things just take their time? Okay, I'd like to go first. This deck does benefit a lot from going first, and also benefits from having an Elm. Okay, Pidgey and... Oh, perfect! This is the this is a great hand. So we're gonna throw out, um... Sacrificial Pidgey. So this set basically got rid of Evolve as a mechanic. Mm, no. If you're playing tag teams, you're not evolving, but... That isn't to say there's nothing you can do with evolution. You know, our opponent is playing, um, is going to be playing Inke, which is a stage one evolution. We were playing Blitzel, which is an evolution. Okay. This is good. This is going to be really good. I'm excited about this. So our opponent's got Mimikyu. Wow, their hand must suck if they synth it on a six card. So Mimikyu's big thing is that Mimikyu's a great revenge attacker. Copycat, if your opponent uses an attack lesser and that isn't a GX attack, use it. Oh, hey, there it is. Stellar Wish Jirachi. I can't really do anything about that in this deck. That's just going to be a plus forever. That's okay. I'm going to be plusing forever, too. Giratina. Giratina is going to be trying to do things here, I'm sure. Alright, Jirachi's staying asleep. What's the play? You're probably gonna go grab a Psychic off that Giratina, right? Yeah. So Giratina can come into play from the grave to deal two damage to your bench. Yes, come into play from the grave. You can also discard it from play without giving up prizes, and then repeat that. Yes, it's here! It's time! Pidgeotto! Once, per your, uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top two and put one in your hand. Good old airmail. So, this is the deck. Oh god, we have how many Pidgeotos? Oh, Alright, we have dual Pidgeotos. That's fine, let's grab Bench Barrier Mew. So, the, the way this deck works is that we're going to be playing the long game. Uh, we're based around a card, a Rangaroo here. You can't read Oranguru that well because I can't make it bigger, but Oranguru has an attack for one color that says, put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Pidgey. Pidgey. Recycle energy whenever it's discarded from play, it just goes back to your hand. So it's a free attach here. 
Let's hold on to the acrobike. Let's draw a card. There's the wish again. This Jirachi is... So this Jirachi is a card I haven't been using. This might be one of the other pillars of the format, as it were. Uh, drew an acro bike. Okay. But again, our opponent's going to be using evolutions. Our opponent's going to be using... Uh, 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 specifically wanting psychic uh, energy in the grave. I think we have an answer to that. We'll have to go grab it. We actually have a really good answer to this. We just have to find it. That spell tag is worthless. We're never doing a knockout. Let's discard a psychic energy, grab a psychic energy. That's fine. Okay, I might want to play Cynthia this turn. I want to play Mars. Mars is draw three. Your opponent discards one at random. Or, sorry, draw two. And we'll lead for three cards. Ah, there's the NK. Okay, we don't have much time now. Once they have Inca, like Malamars online, things are going to get a lot worse. That's when our time runs out. So I don't want to... I, I want to be fully set up by the time we get to that stage in the game. Yep, yeah, they're going to put up their own bench barrier Mew. That's fine by me. That doesn't do anything. Really? What's the attack on that? Oh! Knock out my ditto! <laughs> Fine, you jerk! <laughs> Whatever! I didn't like the ditto much anyway. What, did, what even happened? Okay, whatever. Let's acro bike. We want the communicator, because we already have a lot of things. We're going to evolve a Pidgey. We'll use airmail. There's a Rangaroo. Good. But a Rangaroo is not who I actually want at this exact moment. Um, I want... So I'm going to Pokemon communicate here. And we're going to be, uh, finding Girafferig. Girafferig lets you exile cards in your opponent's grave. Let's play Mars. You have two cards in hand. That tells me one of them must be important, right? Ooh, the other Inkay. All right, get lost. Let's just start before they recur the energy. If they don't have any energy to recur, their deck is going to be a little harder to function, right? So this is my game plan. This is a deck all about using Pidgeotto and a Rangaroo to kind of just play a control match. <laughs> okay, all right. You're gonna copy my Giraffe Rig move, huh? Sure. No! <laughs> Stop it! Alright, let's grab some supporters from the deck. Nope, okay. It's fine. Let's grab some supporters from the deck. Professor Elm's Lecture, huh? That grabs another Pidgeotto. Rock Scrit will be good for later. I think I just want to play Cynthia here. There's the other Pidgeotto. Alright. So, 
Crushing Hammer. Nope. Crushing Hammer's on a coin flip. Get rid of an energy. I don't think we need more Pidgeys. Pokemon Communication could have been okay, but we don't have anything to do with it. So get rid of that, and let's get rid of the Inkay. <laughs> I'm trying real hard to make my opponent's deck not function by making sure it can't recur from the yard. This kind of rules. Okay. Yep, go grab more psychic energy. Just keep... That's what you gotta do. Are you gonna swap out for that? Okay, more damage everywhere. Damage, damage everywhere, and not a drop of drink. Stop it. Stop damaging my Pidgeys. I don't like it. Alright, so we get to attack this turn for real. Um... Shove my end of my deck and draw five. Okay, power plant. That turns off your dumb search. Alright, let's airmail. Airmail. Ooh, chip chip ice axe. Okay. So chip chip ice axe is is a great card. You, you basically Fate Seal 3. So we're going to put the Jirachi on top, because I don't want to give them Malmar and I don't want to give them Lily. Both of those are too strong for this current position. Okay, Crushing Hammer, you... So yeah, this deck is all about doing some weird, dumb bullshit. I love it. We do attack, sometimes. Yes! Yeah, more Pidgeotto. All right. Okay, Cynthia's gonna fix their hand. They're gonna start moving from here. That's fine. I think that's okay. I think we can start uh, setting up against them pretty well. Yeah, so here's their Malamars. So Malamar, again, recurs their energy from the grave, and they do have some now, because we had to pass on the Exile on that turn. So... Yep, they're just going to keep setting up. Giratina in the yard? Okay, that's strong. That lets it come back for free. <laughs> Please, my Pidgey. My Pidgey is dying. My Pidgey is dying. Please. <laughs> Help. Okay. Hey, they have the escape board. Okay. How relevant are bench sniping effects in the format? Uh, so, uh, the f GX attack on Pikachu Zekrom b snipes for 170. There's also a couple others that snipe for pretty hefty damage. So, like, this Mew that says you can't be sniped is pretty useful. Alright, let's, let's evolve. Alright, so I can knock out the Mimikyu, but I kind of don't want to. Because it can only copy my attack. Okay, so we aren't going to attack yet. We want to poke a gear. Ooh, here we go. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. This card owns. During this turn, you can play three supporters.
Okay, let's airmail again. Grab Mars. Let's airmail again. So then we want to... Oh wow, I'm actually, oh sorry. I, I just always assume this card is on in this deck. Wow, that's a snipe, yikes. From these matches, there are only two Pokemon that can evolve. Yes, this, these decks are, are playing not a ton of evolutions. A lot of, so when you have evolutions, generally you're playing around one or two lines of them. Um, I think from here, we're just gonna go ahead and giraffe a rig again to keep these out of here. That Malamar gone. Oh, well, they've got another Malamar. Well, you don't have any energy to return, so that's okay. Are you switching into Jirachi? Sure. Jirachi, Stellar Wish. Ah, Lily to drop to six. How many energy cards do I have removed from you? Four, two in play. You've probably got another five. So they can get lost us. They So the copycat can only copy an attack that was used. So it can't copy the mind shock for a lethal. This is a really funky way to be fighting. I saw Mars Cynthia, sure. So, God, where do we go from here? If I knock out the Mimikyu, I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. Let's, uh... Let's check mail. Ooh, Brock's Grit. That'll be good later. Means I probably want to grab that now. That'll be good, like, if my, my Pidgeotos start falling. There's another Orangaroo. Is there a max hand size? No, there is not. All right, how do we go about getting rid of the... Reset stamp them to five. So if I could counter catcher and bring out a Malamar, that would be, re or a Giratina, that would be really good. So like, yeah, killing their, the problem with killing Mimikyu is that killing Mimikyu puts energy in their discard, yeah. That's actually the issue right now. It's our deck. Okay, three custom catchers. If we draw one of those custom catchers, I think that's all I want. So next turn, we probably just start, like, we custom catch, get this thing out of here. What if I don't attack? What if you can't copy anything? <laughs> I realize this is a very slow deck, but I wanted to show you that you can slow down the universe. It's possible. That was the message I wanted this deck to send. Alright, no, seriously, do they, like, if they retreat, they only have one energy to return. Because, like, retreat cost one. So they retreat for one, get an energy in the discard, recur that energy. Malamar needs three to attack. Giratina needs three to attack. Copycat fails. Okay. All right, so now if we go...
We get our custom catchers. We get our crushing hammers. Okay, and we discard an energy. We pull out Giratina. And now we get lost on the energy and... Mew. So I think from here we need to start moving into a Rangaroo town, where a Rangaroo is going to start recurring triple recurring hammer or trip or ice pick, or things like that, and we're just going to start going to town. Yep, I think that's where we're at. So, uh, okay, retreat to a Rangaroo, discard our cool energy. And then we're going to go ahead and play Resource Management. Actually, I don't know how much I want to airmail here. Let's airmail. Ooh, I like Mars. Okay, and then resource management, put three cards on the bottom of our deck. Two crushing hammers and the chip chip ice pick. Perfect. <laughs> we have placed our opponent in jail. That's what we're doing here, is our opponent is going to be placed in jail forever. <laughs> oh, this rules. All right, and they have realized the totality of their defeat. So yeah, it took a while to get going, but we were able to slow our opponent's plan. We were able to, yes, Giraffe Rig was the MVP. Um, so yeah, I, I, I needed, there, there was a, an article that, was, that uh, I think our team we uh, posted about like, our tag team's too good. And I wanted to show off that there are alternatives in the format. And even outside of like the the tag teams we saw, we like we were playing, we saw decks that weren't using them. We saw a uh, Whooper. Yeah, Whooper. We saw this Quagsire. You know, we saw, um, as far as other decks that are, like, like, there, there are other decks that are pretty reasonable. Uh, somebody asked about, like, how Evolution decks. Was that a particularly favorable matchup for the deck? It was, if I didn't have Giraffe Rig, it wouldn't have been even, it would have been a bad matchup. Giraffe Rig as a one-of made it a much better matchup. If they could have killed the Giraffe Rig, it would have turned in their favor pretty quickly because I can't crushing hammer them when they can just recur energy. And sooner or later, I think they win the prize trade. So I actually think that's a good matchup for them. Uh, the one thing I wanted to show off against, there were questions about evolution decks and like, understandably, um, one of the cards that makes non evolution, evolution decks function is still around. I guess rare candy, uh, rare candy is this, you know, like, you just go straight to a stage two from a basic. Uh, if you're going to be playing an evolution deck, that is the, like, type of card that makes it work. So you might have, uh, let's find a good, let's find some stage twos that actually have some strong power behind them. Uh, where's the one I want? Both the Vicavolts are actually pretty good. Um... 
There's there are stage two GXs. There's also stage two non GXs. Amphros can uh, exile two energy cards from your hand to just auto paralysis. Um, I am a big fan of where is my buddy? So Blaziken uh, has the same ability as that Malamar does. Return fire energies. Um, doo -doo -doo. I've actually seen Chandelure doing some silly things. You can mill five. You can put any fire Pokemon discarded into your into play. Um, the normal Charizard. Oh, Dragonite. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Once during your turn before you attack, search your deck for a supporter. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Um. Can Chandler put non-bases on your bench? Yes, that is indeed what it can do. Uh, I think this Garchomp is like one fighting support card away from being great. I love this Garchomp. So this Garchomp can attack for very cheap. If you're behind, it attacks for 80 more, and it can attack. So that means it can attack for 200. Uh, if it's if it's fully back, if it's fully powered. There's also the Garchomp that likes you if you played Cynthia, which it does a uh, uh, 100 plus 100. Um, and... Is it the one... What's the High Dragon do? Oh, you discard... That's the one like that you lets you recur Giratina. It's a little slow. Oh, Jump Luff. That's a good one. Lost March is... Uh, Night March, but for cards in the Lost Zone, Exile. All right, I think that's enough going through here to kind of show existing ones. Uh, there was one that came to mind I wanted to, I definitely wanted to make sure you saw. I'm trying to remember. It was me looking at Garchomp. Oh, there's other cards that make evolution decks real. Um, this. Triple Acceleration Energy is another card that's hefty support for evolution decks. It can only be attached to an evolution Pokemon. It provides triple colorless. At the end of the turn, di turn discard this card. But triple colorless. It's all about sidestepping evolution because nobody wants to evolve in practice. Hell no, yeah. Uh, like, uh, like again, I, I will not say that just evolving card by card is a good thing to be doing. Because, as you kind of saw, some decks can get started on turn two. Like, you don't want to be the deck that's, like, waiting to draw their Kakuna when you're dying to huge attackers, you know? The other problem there is that, uh, it's, you know, if you're playing a, 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 uh, a deck with multiple stage evolutions, like, you have to dedicate a lot of deck space to that. So, like... Yeah, generally, you only include one stage two line in a deck because this is, you know, if I'm playing Skeptile here, um, I'm playing four Grovile, I'm playing four uh, Trico. So, and Grovile is actually quite good. Grovile is just search for a, again, I mentioned that uh, Grass has a lot of really good cards, like really good Pokemon. They don't have the good trainer support, but they have good Pokemon. So like Grovile can just search for any any uh, grass type Pokemon once per turn, put it in your hand. But like, if you're playing four Trico, four Grovile, four Skeptile GX, or maybe Skeptile Normal, um, or both, that's twelve cards. And like, if you do that twice, that's twenty four cards, and that's a lot of deck space. So you, you kind of have trouble doing that much deck space because, like, as you kind of saw, if we go back in my deck manager here for i think my lightning deck is the closest thing to like a normal build 13 pokemon 36 trainers 11 energy and i'd say that's pretty normal like maybe you're po a little higher pokemon car count you know if you've got higher stages but for the most part that's about it so oh check out that alolan dug trio Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. So yeah, 
Anyway, uh, this is a null cost, by the way. Digging dash costs zero. It's pretty cool. You can actually build a deck with no energy. Like, with attacks like this. It's pretty nice. Pretty nifty. All right, anyway, I think that's about all I have time for tonight. And mostly that's everything I wanted to show off. So, pretty happy about all of that. Uh, I'm happy that I got to show off both, like, the power of the format, you know, tag teams, and how they're not the only thing in the format. You know, there are definitely other things that exist within the format. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other questions about things, that's, I'm, I'm happy you're all here and having a good time with it. Uh, you know, and happy to kind of try to answer any of them. But I think that's about it for the games. I think I'm probably going to wind it down here but yeah so th that that's uh i'm sure we'll see this in another year there'll be another standard rotation and all of a sudden something else will be on top uh there's a new style of pokemon with the maximize or the 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 the, the uh i think they're called pokemon v uh, or v pokemon and they're gonna have the, the 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 get huge button so we'll see what that is in practice you know and that'll bring a whole new dimension to things. But yeah, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun showing it off. I know that this isn't a game that everyone's aware of, but it is a game that I, I, I like people knowing does exist. Even from 25 years ago, these, you know, these cards are still here. They're still running. Uh, everything's still live. So, so yeah, um... If you want to catch more things like this, uh, you can always follow us. See when I go live with other cards. Um, I do keep all these on YouTube on my kind of like yearly look at the game. So if you're interested to see how it looked a year ago, how it looked a couple years back, I I suggest checking that out. Uh, if you want to support the stream, you can always subscribe. Be the cool skull and slime. But really, if you're here and having a good time, that's all I can ask for. Anyway, as far as stuff coming up. Tomorrow is our Wizards sponsored Eldrain pre release. So that's going to be starting probably around like 6, 6 30, uh, going for a couple out for around three hours. We're going to do, I've got some constructed decks I want to show off in my mind, see how they play. We'll see how some limited works out. We'll get the whole nine yards on that Wizards sponsored Eldrain uh, preview. So, anyway, thank you all for joining tonight. Hope you all had a lot of fun with this. Have a good night, everybody.